where we can combine different measurements in order to achieve uh, a, a credible impulse response down to, uh, to 10 hertz. The way I, um, I use this room in the, um, in the development of BioLab 90 is that I, I want to measure the transfer function uh, from each of those 18 drivers and then to um, all two points on a circle around the speaker in order to find out how much sound is uh, emitted out the front, out the back, out the sides, and so on. And um, of course, in, uh, in, in order to do that, it, it, we will end up with a whole bunch of measurements. In fact, the whole measurement set on a build-up 19 is around 1,700 uh, measurements. And in order for me to speed up my, my work, we have um, automized the, um, the process so we can control the crane, which can move the, um, the speaker back and forth, up and down and around. Uh, and we can also control the, the speaker itself, so which driver is actually playing um, from our measurement system. So that means that we can automize the whole uh, measurement uh, procedure where, um, where we can leave measurements uh, at, at night and, and then next morning we'll come back to a fresh set of measurements where we can, we can use for algorithm development. And um, as you can see, another point we've been forced to make is to introduce some wires here, because the first time we put the speakers on this crane, it, um, it started to bend a bit. It, 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 didn't, it, it didn't break or anything, but the problem was just that the, the speaker started to point a bit uh, downwards. And that's, not, that's not desirable when we want to control the exact positions of where we do the measurements. So we've also been forced to update our hardware a bit mm. in order to, to, to do this project. Another thing in, um, which is important when, when we talk about uh, a speaker with this uh, capability is uh, the protection. Because um, we, have, uh, we have 18 drivers where we have uh, 1,000 watts for each uh, woofer, 300 watts for e each mid-range, and 300 watts for each uh, tweeter. And especially the tweeters. With 300 watts, we have the opportunity to uh, fry a tweeter within around 100 milliseconds. And in order for this not to happen, what we do is that we, um, we have a, an algorithm within the DSPs which uh, monitors the, the temperature of the voice coil of uh, each driver. So in real time, we know what's the actual temperature of the voice coil, and then we can turn down if it starts to get too hot. And um, in order to test this, then we are using a room out here. I can show you. And actually, we are, we are doing the test right now, so I can try to show you what we are, what we are forcing our speakers to do. So we just leave it for that, onto, uh, for, uh, for hours, to make sure that it doesn't uh, break down. And if we take a look in here, you'll see who's... Who's behind the curtain. Yeah, who's <laughs> making all that, that terrible noise and playing that 19th uh, pop music. Um, as you can see, there's some wires hanging out, but that's because uh, right now we're testing electronics. Because we have so we have around 50 probes inside that speaker at uh, various um, points of the electronics to make sure that we do not have any hot spots where we will have the damage to, uh, to the electronics. Um, another point that we have been involved has been in the um, room compensation of uh, Bureau 90 and. Um, in, we also have room compensation in Burlap 5. However, the one in Burlap 19 T is, um, differs a bit from, from the procedure that we use in Burlap 5. Burlap 5 um, is only working in the base region, but in, with the new room compensation of Burlap 90, we are going up to around 2, two kilohertz. Um, another point where we have a difference is that um, Burlap 5 is thinking as if it's the only speaker in the room. 
if you have a speaker and places that in the room and that one excites uh, a resonance in the room and places a diff another speaker another place in the room it also hits the same resonance that then if you play the same signal in the two speakers you might not have that mode that that resonance might not be present if both speakers are playing it because they'll cancel each other out but with Viola 5 they wouldn't know and do and in fact make it um, make it worse at that situation in Viola 90 we um, we are analyzing the the music signal all the time to find out whether the signal is in the sp in both speakers in only one of the speakers or if it's uh, negatively correlated in, the, in two speakers and if that's and depending on which case it is then we use different um, scenarios in making the room compensation and another point is that uh, with the room compensation of Biolab 90 we um, we, we are you can choose whether you want you want to make room compensation for one position or for more positions. Whereas Biolab Five had a um, had a global uh, room compensation that that intended to f to fit the whole room. So in Biolab Ninety, you can we can use one measurement in, um, in in the in the listening position if you only care about how it sounds in that one position, or you can do multiple measurements around the room to get a more global uh, average. Um, another point, uh, another thing we've been using here is, the, um, is our raffle here, where you have, we have the opportunity to measure uh, drivers in a two-pi uh, baffle. So we can mount a driver in such a baffle and mount it here. Out here we have a microphone. And the reason for for measuring a driver like that is that it's the most um, clear way of seeing what the driver is doing without any uh, influence of uh, cabinet and uh, diffractions, which is caused by by the cabinet. And that we've used that in order to um, to choose the the drivers which are used in uh, Build Up 90. And in Build Up 90, we are, we are using scan speed drivers in order to um, to get the best money can buy. We are we have we think that the, the drivers of scan speed that's uh, that's the best drivers that we can buy. And uh, it's of course you can get more expensive drivers, but uh, we, that's mainly because of materials. So uh, scan speed has been chosen for all 18 drivers in this uh, in this loudspeaker. 